sorry about that. What is it? I had to cut a little bit because there's a whole new slew of people coming. So, hi Noriega, hi Carlos, hi MD. Thank you for joining. Uh oh, that's a really long name that ends in coupon moms. Hi, hi Brandy. Hey you guys, can we see Tyrese? Okay, so I will. I don't know if it'll be on this scope. But it'll be very soon because he's going to perform soon, okay? I am good, Envy. How are you? Hello, coupon moms. I can't read the beginning. This writing, I wish I could make it bigger. So we are so just chilling right now because the East Coast feed is already finished. So now we're getting ready for the West Coast feed. Two crazy coupon moms. Now I see it. Hey, Pastor Matt. Thanks for joining. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Even though I'm out this evening, just sitting and relaxing, I'm going to be there in the morning. Oh my gosh, wasn't the show amazing, Tamika? Such great dialogue. I thought it was so fantastic because the dynamic between, between having a rev run and that perspective on sex, relationship, love, and all of that, and then having Tyrese and Marlon Wayans. Oh my gosh, can I get... How do we feel about Marlon Wayans? Hilarious. I love them two together. Hold on, let me see. I have a couple of the executive producers right here. Everyone, they're saying that they absolutely love the show. And they love the dynamics of, um, of um, Rev Run and Tyrese and the two of them together. What else kind of feedback do you guys have for us? <laughs> that show hot so many powerful points. <laughs> See? Did you you tuned on on the East Coast, the so West Coast, you haven't seen it yet. You are in for a huge, huge treat. It is hilarious and so important. And the spoken word at the end, if anyone saw that spoken word um, uh, woman at the end, <laughs> she was amazing. Uh, it, ne it does, it needs to be longer. <laughs> Someone said that it's a two hours. Yes, yes. These are two of the executive producers of the show. So um, I'm just sitting with them a little bit. I could have watched it for two hours too, Tamika. I thought it was hilarious. I can't, it's, it's going to be my standing date every Saturday night. Now I know they have eight shows that they've done already and hopefully they'll be brought back for some more. But right now they have the eight shows in the can and I'm going to be tuning in every week. Let me know what you guys thought. Say hi from Dallas. Thank you so much for tuning in. Can you do some spoken word? Can, I, can you do spoken word for the show? You know what? If you want to do spoken word for the show, you need to submit um, to the production company. I'm going to try to get the name. They're talking right now, so I'll try to get the name, so at least then it gives you a starting point. But um, did anyone else tune into the show? Tell me where you're, you're uh, scoping in from. I'm here in California. How can you come to the show? Now, like I said, they've already done the first eight episodes. Until they find out if they're being picked up for another for a full season, then they won't be doing any production. But um, they will probably know by next week when Oprah gets the number of what, how the show is. Can I get everybody's attention? Uh -oh. Everybody inside the club. Okay, so it's time to go into the club inside of that is in Teresa's backyard. Wait, let me just show you the um, what he calls Gibsiana. How will they get picked up? Oh, they will get picked up. Yes, I totally agree. They will get picked up. Um, so wait, let me just show you. In his backyard, his favorite restaurant must be Benihana's. Um, but they have his own Benihana's in the backyard. Hold on. Let me just show you really quick. Yes. Can you believe? Okay, so tune in because I'm gonna be right back, and we will um, we will go ahead and scope some more because he's gonna be performing in about five minutes. So I'll be back with you guys. Make sure you tune in. Okay.